Hello everybody, welcome to the final of the CCL. Artemis will know which final it is. Season 24. Season 24, there you go. And, oh, interesting, a Blitz for Hatebreed with his Dark Elves. Um, versus Vela Hoppier with his Nurgle. Vela Hoppier, you know, Nurgle a bit weak, weak against a Wizard and against Elves in general, I think, you know, despite... Ooh, the beast is good against elves that he doesn't have. <laughs> anyway. He doesn't have a beast, yeah. Um, he, it. he does have three tackle, which is alright, I guess. But, you know, it's it's a bit light on tackle, so at the end of the day, you know, but then it, it's not a very high TV dark elf team, this is it. None of the Lionels have got dodge. I don't no, think. it's got four dodge. Yeah, the, so... So, actually... Um... As, as evidenced by this blitz, Hatebreed is basically here on luck. Yeah. Like, so he, ha he will have to continue to be lucky. Yeah, he's, he's up shit creek without a paddle, isn't he? And he's instantly burnt a reroll on a GFI. <laughs> he's instantly not been lucky. <laughs> oh, he snaked it! <laughs> I wouldn't have even rerolled it. And, and so he gets a lino surfed for fun as well. <laughs> Oh well. Well, that's gone well. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Val Hobbier, commiserations to Hebrew. <laughs> okay, let's all go home. I'm gonna order some food. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even need to uh is he just stood this guy up? Yeah. So we would have to GFI if he if he did it if he surfed him. I think he will, though. Yeah, he probably will. Well, he might double one, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an edge, edge four for the pickup, so he'll probably pick up ball first. Yeah. Oh, no instant removal. Unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, it sometimes happens when we're co-casting. It is me. Uh, sorry about that. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, is this me? Is this me fucking everything up? Sorry. No, I, I genuinely don't know why. Some, it just randomly sometimes happens that there's echoes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this random Underlords player? <laughs> Very good. I should pop out your chat. That would be good. I can see what the fuck people are saying. Otherwise, I'm just going to be listening to you responding and trying to work it out. <laughs> uh, well, um, and I've got him on my speakers as well, so it's all a, it's all a veritable shit show of speakers. Yeah. Hello, Fault Force. No, I'm a fuck, I'm a fuck playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Much better just watching it, isn't it? I wonder if he'll double GFI to foul that Blodge Stepper. He might. You'll certainly want him dead. It's one of it's one of the only four players that Hatebreed has got. Yeah. He'll probably keep the screen up though, I imagine that. Though. Bit all three really big burly will ball. All three. Oh no, I'm not banned. <laughs> Burnt out ill and enjoying the other game, so. I do like a bit of Underlords. Hate TFT. <laughs> Despite them being essentially the same game. <laughs> He's not GFIing. Boo. He is, not. He is going to GFI to surf that guy, though. Yeah, he must do. I think he'll hide at the back for a turn. Yeah. Yeah, he's not under a lot of pressure. No, oh, thanks, Bill. Big burly Bob. Yeah, I'll probably be back for the next season of CCL, I imagine. Oh, God. Week tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. If you want to be part of Team Positive... Have you heard, the, have you heard uh, our crazy new plan? Up. Stop bitching like a little What's baby. The crazy Tell exactly we see if this guy gets up, surfed. Eh? He does get so. It's 
got to make the extra one, hasn't he? Yeah. There we go. Right, don't just stand there. <laughs> Yeah, so Cyber Knight's gone through the same thing that I went through, which is, uh, you know, just having a shit run of luck and being really down, as you can probably sympathize with. <laughs> yeah. And so to cheer him up, I am going to be sponsoring uh, a legend competition for the first Burt legend. Oh, wow. So I'm racing Cyber Knight to get the first Burt legend. <laughs> And also, anyone else is welcome to join in. And we've got a few people who come, same as the Pro Elf Revolution. There's wow. going to be a bunch of us hardlining Burt's from day one. And there's never been a Burt legend before. There's never been a Burt legend. Wow. I should have played my team with uh, the strength five with some more, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be I'm going to be sponsoring it, so there'll be like a prize of a bag of miniatures or whatever for the first guy. And if the first guy's me, I'll also give a prize to the second guy. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. And then after that, I'm going to be doing it if it's uh, if it works out. I'm going to be doing some more for like the first Troll Slayer Legend, the first Mister Throw Legend. Mm. Butthole! Butthole! Yeah, I can't. I can't really do the uh, Brett one because it would you ruin can. that. It would. You ruin have to Smurf name. account it. I could, yeah, yeah, I could, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Burtastic, yeah, just shows up. <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant name, Jimmy Burtastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Hello, Dwimmery. Uh, I just got BB2, but where do I enable having the skills above the player's heads? Uh, press control, Dwimmery. If you press control, each press does different things. The first one, hang on, I'll show you on this game now. So the first, this is normal. First one shows their names and positions. Second one shows all the skills. Third one shows learned skills only. A Bretonian taught a boot is a Bretonian. And there's one with uh, just the one of those is just the uh, grid as well, isn't there? Yeah, after if you press it again after learned skills, it just leaves the grid on the pitch, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know why the grid isn't just there. It's weird. Yeah, when it when Blood Bowl Two first came out, um, there was no option for a grid, and it was pretty pretty bad. Yeah, Brett is the normal uh, one. Bert is the uh, the nickname taught. Bretts are Berts. Yeah. Just like dwarves are dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if Fowles gave SPP, Ducky would have a peasant legend, he would. He'd have a whole team of them. <laughs> <laughs> It does, yeah, it does show tackle zones. If you click on a guy, it shows them. Not as clear as Blood Bowl 1 did, but they're there. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you click on things, it shows up. You just got to click on a, a random player, Fault Force. It was it was nice in Blood Bowl. It was better in Blood Bowl One, to be honest. It's got to be a bit careful here, hasn't he? This could be a cheeky wizard situation. Yep. 10, 11, 10, 9. in scoring range. <laughs> it's not a racist UK thing towards French themed things. No, I'm talking. It's just because like. <laughs> Bert just sounds more stupid than Brett, doesn't it? And and yes. Bert's a shit. Dwarf, dwarves are not French, and we call them dwarfs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and chorfs. Yeah. <laughs> also, it doesn't make any sense. Dwarves Def and dwarfs and chorfs. <laughs> We've never spat on the French, fall force, so not again or ever are we spitting on French. I mean, some of us might have spat on individual French. Yeah. I mean, can't, can't, can't speak for everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not everyone. Not as a, not as a Twitch chat. <laughs> I, I take no responsibility for the people in my Twitch chat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bert sounds better, can't I? You like a stupid, idiotic version of a brat, which is... You know, which is what this team is, because they're shit. No, they're less shit now they get dodge. I wouldn't have minded seeing a wizard here, to be honest. 
Yeah, it, it's not going to be a lot of amazing opportunities. This was reasonable. Yeah, he had that guy over the other side who can run run down and be completely, you know, inaccessible to anybody. People can run through here and get some hits and a pass and everything. It, this really could have been a touchdown. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have hated a wizard. He's, he was a little bit passive the turn before. Like his witch is still just standing at the back doing squat and all. I mean, I'm not saying he should have definitely whizzed or anything, but I wouldn't have hated it. There's times like when the people do absolutely moronic fireballs where, you know, they fireball the ball carrier and then get two dice on him and then just don't take those two dice from him. And then <laughs> afterwards say, my plan was to concede on turn eight of the first half anyway. <laughs> That happens. That honestly happens. Genuinely happens. If you can believe it. <laughs> and then they say they played better than you afterwards as well. And you're meant to agree, otherwise you're being uh, petty or uh, lacking respect or something. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Butthole foul again. It oh. loves his butthole fouling. Yes, we like the buttholes. And he's got the KO. Hey, yeah, I played someone who fireballed their own otherwise. It was it was <laughs> it was a good play if he, if he hadn't fireballed his own otherwise. Him fireballing my OS was the only way he's gonna score. So him fireballing my OS was actually a good play, but unfortunately he misclicked and fireballed his own LOS as well. Yeah, that's the thing, Big Burly Bob. Exactly, you know. Sometimes that you know, there's not. Is there going? You've got to ask yourself: Is there going to be a better chance to wizard? And is there going to be a better chance? Now he's probably going to blitz this guy down and reconnect his team or something. So maybe that was going to be his best chance because he did have him. He could have. Been, he could have got Doctor Harold Shipman could have got totally free there. And there's two. Him. There's two Doctor Harold Shipmans on this pit. All right. <laughs> Just to be confusing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he just lost his claw palmer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I hated that last manoeuvre by him. Oh, huge reroll. Hated that last manoeuvre with it. Could take the blood stepper out of the way, so... Now he can definitely reconnect his team. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a fun re-roll into dubs, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, not for Valley, obviously, but we would have laughed. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely, Wolfbag. That, that's why I just said I wouldn't have hated it. I'm not saying it was the best player or, or whatever, but you have got to think, am I going to get a better chance? And I'm not sure he was going to get... He is going to get a better chance than the chance that he just had. Especially not if he puts his blood stepper over there. You can also fuck about with Dark Elves, especially with this kind of speed. Like, he could have just essentially passed backwards and had an offensive drive. Yeah, yeah. Like, he could have passed it to that guy who was free on the left, who could have run backwards to his own half and, like, <laughs> handed off to the witch or something. <laughs> yeah. Just, just started an offensive drive instead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant guitar, but <laughs> that is the perfect fireball, yeah. The perfect attrition fireball. I had a perfect one against Silse, the World Cup finalist. No. Who claimed that I sacrificed a goat and then conceded. <laughs> a pretty good result of a fireball, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about this making it tight. It's not so good against the wizard, is it? Oh, wow, he didn't even size up to get here again. So now he just freed another player up. That really, really terrible blood-stepping mark, wasn't it, there? <laughs> just took it. Just took a hit, freed himself up, freed the other guy up. Yeah. Really weird. Like, why not just base one of them if you were going to do that? Really weird. Don't get that. I mean, I guess the good thing about having that blood stepper down there is that now he has got like a scoring threat again. The receiving I think, threat. I think, Nooms, if it's an X cage like this you, and you, you haven't got like two heads gutter runners or anything, you fireball. 
Like, because the odds of a, a bolt are already... you got to roll the 2+, plus, then you got to roll better than the 4+, plus, because otherwise it lands in an empty square. Yeah. Which is, sucks for you. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's it's interesting whether you should go for a fireball or a bolt. I mean, the bolt is usually better just because if it lands in two, for, you know, normally elves have got an edge five, haven't they? Which he doesn't, yeah. So if, he, if they've got an edge five, then you just bolt and then blitz somebody and pick it up. But then you've got, the, they've got the foul appearance here as it's just propped over there. The foul yeah. appearance makes hitting the other, the Nurgle warriors out of the way not so easy, so... Plus, yeah, Fireball can just knock over more players and cause more aggro, can't it? Which is quite nice. Yeah, it's it's five of his best players. Two of them have stand firm, so the bolt could just fuck you. Yeah, he just lands next to one of them. Yeah, and two tacklers as well. So like, there's a lot of value uh, in the Fireball. I wasn't this season super base. I did take a screenshot of it though somewhere. Hey, Silsey, there we go. <laughs> Summon mm -hmm. Silsey by mentioning him. <laughs> It was a glorious fireball. <laughs> he, he'd done what someone else he reminded me. He'd done like a seven-man gang foul or something. And then I knocked them all down. <laughs> Just twatted a few of them while I was at it. Uh, he hasn't been aggressive at all, Nooms, hate breed, in the, in the previous rounds. Didn't even try a one turn in the um, semi final, even though he's got a movement nine witch. Jesus. <sighs> but he won anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure good time was. Particularly happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be super happy about that. <laughs> now, Veli's going to find it hard to move forward like this, isn't he? With oh, the yeah. threat of the wizard hovering over him. And yeah. not doing any damage or rolling any pows, and his claw palm has been removed. Yeah, he actually would have been outbashed if it wasn't for that double one on the GFI leading the surf, wasn't it? He'd actually be men down, which is crazy. Yeah. And the surf did nothing. Yeah, but it, it got him off though, didn't it? Which is the yeah. Uh, no, I just mean it did no damage, whereas like the shitty butthole foul immediately KO'd his claw palm. Yeah, so he still has been technically outbashed, but. He would actually be outmanned if it wasn't for yeah. that double one. <laughs> no, indeed, Nims. You might be able to stop him, but, you know, this is the thing, isn't it? It's whether you can or not. Because he's certainly up against it, isn't he, in this matchup? I'm pretty sure everybody on Earth would have picked Vela Hop here to win if they knew how to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or if they'd seen any of the previous matches. <laughs> well, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be fair, Will Say did not like Valahopia allowing his Claw Palmer to be so easily uh, butthole fouled. No, indeed, yeah. But uh, it was a lucky result. It's a really, it's really poor Dark Elf team, really, isn't it? There's no edge, there's no guard. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's not a great team. It, it did have another Blitzer, but that died during the cup. Um, oh, he's remembered to Blitz with Mighty Blow. We spent the entire last game wondering why he didn't bother. <laughs> maybe watch the VOD. Ah, maybe. Like, oh, oh, yeah, that's that's probably something I should start doing. <laughs> Worked out for him. You're welcome, hate breed. Oh well, uh, it's, he's he's already that already puts him several rungs above Dode and uh, Zunk. <laughs> 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 what 
<laughs> watched the VOD, complained about it, and still carried on playing absolute garbage. In fact, maintained that they were superb at Blood Bowl, despite having been shown to, you know, never bother blitzing with Palmer or <laughs> Claw Palmer. <laughs> Uh, Jarko, it's not 72% to get a knockout with a plus two foul without dirty player. That's nuts. <laughs> That's definitely not the right numbers. <laughs> you would hope that would work. It wasn't really. I wasn't implying that he wouldn't be a, a rung a few rungs above Dawn Zunk, but and <laughs> I just felt like, you know, mentioning it. Because <laughs> they both didn't see anything wrong with their play. As lots of people don't, which I really right. find bizarre because if you're picking mighty blow, I mean, okay, he's picked he's picked dodge movement and sidestep first, but if you've picked mighty blow, surely you know how the skill works. <laughs> <laughs> surely you know you should punch people with it for it to do anything. Like boggles my mind when people take stuff like mighty blow and don't hit with it, regardless of how good they are. <laughs> Why well, blitz with mighty blow and you blitz with dodge? <laughs> Does dodge exist? I, uh, probably. I believe it was only a plus two foul, Jarko, so that would be about a 60% chance of breaking AV, I think. You don't get plus one for the guy making the foul. Uh, dodge was a guy who doesn't really know about Blood Bowl, but was insistent on having influence on Blood Bowl 2's rules and stuff. Yes, and we love him for TV+. Plus. It's amazing. <laughs> working, working as intended. I mean, essentially, he was working for Cyanide for free. Right, our focus for free. He's like an admin and everything. He had, he's got a million posts on the forums, the various forums. And, uh, it's thanks to him that we've got CCL at all. So, yeah. Yes, he has he has done some good things in between some bad things. <laughs> yeah, he's not all bad. But uh, he's just somewhat misguided due to uh, fundamentally not understanding Blood Bowl. <laughs> I don't hate him, Wolfbark. I've never hated him, but it's just... I barely know him. The uh, the best part of TV Plus for me was always when I actually asked for the first time in the CCL Discord what it was. Three different people told me what it was, and then I kept waiting for people to tell me the real explanation because it was so fucking stupid. <laughs> so I wouldn't believe them. I was like, <laughs> no, wait. And then, like, it slowly dawned on me that they were just telling me the truth. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Isn't that just fan factor, but worse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Super Base. All of your, all of your attrition blitzes should be with Mind Blow, shouldn't they? And it's really only a position of blitz, which is very rare, to be fair. Mostly the position of your blitz doesn't really matter, does it? So if it does, then... Fair enough, don't do it with Mighty Blow, but nine, nine times out of ten or even more should be done with Mighty Blow. Or whatever. Uh, there we go. Uh, Jarko, uh, Ronchoff has done the uh, stats and it is 24.3% to remove AV8 and 24.7% to get sent off. So, that's fun. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it, isn't it? Because if you don't do that, you're going to get pommed every turn. Yeah, it was worth a shot. It was just lucky. Oh, and also, Hitbreed loves fouling. Instant he has fouled in every every cup match. Yeah. With his one bench. Against constant bash teams. <laughs> Straight in there with fouls. I don't know, Wolfbug. I don't think so. I really don't think that it's more than 9 times out of 10. Maybe 14 times out of 16. What's that? 7 times out of 8. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Not 9 times out of 10. 7 times. Oh, the 2 plus foul. 
Or are you not? I don't know. Oops, I just farted. Yeah, I thought it was a fine foul to me. Yeah, nothing wrong with the foul, Jarko. You took exception to me saying it was lucky. <laughs> it was fine to go for it. It just had a very lucky result. Because he was more likely to remove himself than the claw pommer. I'm surprised he instant re-rolled there, especially after re-rolling that GFI. Like, I think if you have three re-rolls, instant, instant re-roll isn't so bad, but only two. Pretty surprised he re-rolled that. Evening creep. Yeah, that's the thing. The harder things are, the more you've got to roll the dice, isn't it? So, and the, the teams, he is, he is down pretty badly on teams. So. Is he going to bang in here on the right-hand side? It's hard, so isn't he got, it? Only got three turns to score, so... Yeah. He's got to worry about getting scored on, hasn't he? Yep. <laughs> he might smash in. I guess he has to. Smashing in protects him against the fireball anyway, and the and the bolt, doesn't it? You've got more people, and you know if they they might they might hit more with a fireball, but they're gonna have a harder time getting to the ball afterwards. So I wouldn't hate smashing in here. I think he's gonna have to hoop up and stuff as well, even though he's men down because his his over strength is fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to. Well, that's what I mean by smashing. Yeah, he's gotta gotta base up a bit. Stand firm is uh, being handy here. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the kill team has finally done something. Yes. Claw might be finally done a job. Uh, he's still got two rerolls. He might risk uh, Rotter GFI here around the outside. Yeah, he might do. Double GFI. Perp, perp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Because he only has to do one. I actually heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Normally I can't hear it and you just react to whatever's going on, but I, I heard the herp derp that time. <laughs> Hello, little Baz. <laughs> please, please, please. Yeah, it's very swingy foul, yeah. But you know, that, that's, this is the time to do it, isn't it? When it's an absolutely amazing player and a good team. And you've got a not great player and a not great team. <laughs> yeah, if he got the send off for no removal, he was in some deep shit. So it was a big gamble. And this ball is interestingly unsafe. Yes. <laughs> we could see something here. Hmm. He could well go for some wi hot wizard action, couldn't he? He's not going to. Nope. Okay. I think that was a that was an even better opportunity than before. Yeah, he's had some good he's had some good chances. But um the thing is, I mean he's probably confident of stopping the score now, isn't he? Somewhat confident. He hasn't he, well he's got one re roll. We know he's yeah, not gonna bother the... trying to do the one turn. And I mean plus yeah, there's stand firm. No and point in keeping it. So he doesn't have to yes. save one for the route. Like, you know, a lot of people would be saving one for the one turn, wouldn't they? But he doesn't try a one turn. <laughs> Just going for the 1D. Let's go. Oh. 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 Doesn't even get the wrestle, mate. Gives him an armor brick as well. Mm -hmm. On a great scatter, though. That could have gone all kinds of badly. Yeah. I'm not certain if they will though is the thing, Jane. And like he's uh he's got a he's got the claw palm off the pitch. 
I really thought he might have bolted there because if he bolted, and obviously with that scatter. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, now. He could have blitzed over here. Oh, and yeah, that's the thing he didn't use the reroll. Fail. Didn't use Into the reroll on that. And, and see, that's why I wouldn't have rerolled the dodge the previous turn. And probably, I think he probably should have rerolled that because now there's a huge gaping hole, isn't there? There is indeed. The gaping hole. <laughs> 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 it's a different word. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a W at the start. Why do you pronounce it the same? <laughs> Not right. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> funny. You can fit the whole cake in your hole. That's it. <laughs> no, it makes sense. It honestly makes sense because, like, who and then who? I, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> WHO is who, right? Yeah, I like, I like the idea <laughs> of it. It still sounds a little bit daft for somebody. Do you know who... what? Do you know what? Another one that Welsh people do that people find weird is tough. Not not tooth. Tough tough paste. Okay. Uh, because because it's book, right? It's, unless you're from like Yorkshire, it's not book. Yeah. It's book. Double O is O. So it's it's book. Cook. Tough. <laughs> and yet everyone else says tooth. Right. <laughs> so you've got toothache. Yeah, toothache. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, it's normal, Scott. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't fight you two. <laughs> <laughs> I say them properly, Fan Fox. I am educated. Uh, whereas, mostly in this area, all of them will be pronounced the same. Flood. They would all be now pronounced the same as the last one. Flood. <laughs> flood. No, flood is pronounced flood. That's, that's, flood is flood, isn't it? Yes. Hardly anything is... Uh... Ooh, Ooh it's word. only a push! Oh, he's, he's got, got frenzy. frenzy. He's got frenzy. Perfect. Perfect time. Tell a frenzy, man. Double push would mean good enough. Double GFI probably from the guy with the ball here. Whoa. And he's in he's in Witch Elf Danger Zone as well. Pfft. Tricky. It's tricky. He does have two rerolls though. Facebook decided to tell me that I have memories. How nice. Ah. How nice for me. <laughs> oh, little Buzz. Hello, Elk. Um, is this arse on arse action? I don't know what that means. But... Do you really though? What? <laughs> Jim getting more confused by his chat than anything else. Yeah, oh, I have memories, <laughs> yeah. I don't have any memory of what I've just said or what I've just heard. <laughs> Literally, as soon as something comes out of my mouth, I can't remember Whee! what I said. The instant that I've said something, I can't remember it. Ooh. Ooh. One, two. He is yeah, now he's made the second one. eight squares away. <laughs> I'm not old enough, little Baz, for that. Uh, Facebook, Jam and Dem, is a thing that the youths use to communicate with each other and send themselves funny pictures of cats and dicks. I don't think I don't think there's a lot of dick pics, is there on Facebook? Probably. You can PM people, isn't can that, I? Isn't that more of like a Snapchat or WhatsApp thing? You can still You're PM all... people. My aren't mate you, always sends aren't me. Are you younger than me? What the fuck? <laughs> my, my mate always sends me a picture of a woman <laughs> with a guy's ass. And she's got like it spread open and she's just like pulling a funny face. Like a disgusted face at this guy's asshole. <laughs> and he always sends me that on Facebook. <laughs> 
<laughs> he sent me about ten fucking times. <laughs> I'm like, what was this? Oh, fuck's sake, this again. <laughs> Damien's actually right. Yeah, face, Facebook is not really. Uh, Facebook is probably more commonly used by like thirty-five-year-old women to be outraged about things. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's not with the youths anymore, is it? It was the youths at first, but that was like about a decade ago, wasn't it? And now we're all <laughs> old as fuck. <laughs> oh, Zeman's like, no, it's not. That witch does not have sidestep. No, oh, that witch does not have sidestep. He's a cool dude, Michelle in Paradox. <laughs> Is he gonna dodge in? Oh god, he's got leap! He's got leap! He's leaped in! He's leaped in for the, the cheeky one dice full pow again! <laughs> Better to be lucky than good. Oh. Well, that's a bit of a shit scatter for him. Yes. Yes, this this man has sacrificed a few of Silsay's goats. <laughs> Yo, Satterfield. Um, what have you missed? It's it's not Dora and the Lords. Um, Yo. Well, uh, the thing here is... Oh, I don't like doing that. I don't know, it's alright, I think. I don't mind it. I would have put him to... back behind the witch, because the witch is still easily just push out the bolt, and then this rotter can score. Yeah, but then, you know, you've got to deal with sidestep, haven't you? And you could have knocked him over, and then that would have helped things a bit, I guess. Um, the commentator's in a different language, yeah, because he's Welsh. Zeman Zach. <laughs> he says like things like, Hoo. Hool and tough. <laughs> the hool tough. Tough paste. <laughs> it's covered in wool. <laughs> right, he has to get the pow on this first hit on this leaper. Yeah. Because it's frenzy. And sidestep. And he's roll pushes. Uh -oh. So this could be. In this is about to get interesting. Yep. He's re-rolled re it. it. He's re-rolled it, but he's going to size up on the ball. Where will it go? Into In the, the crowd. crowd. Oh! A million miles away. Oh, rip the hobby out of range. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Better to be lucky than good. <laughs> the Dark Elves did not get a scoring threat. I thought they should have done last turn, but they did not. Uh, this Blitzer yeah, he was, was about that, here. Um, and if he had just gone into a uh, scoring range, might have ended this half 1-0 up. <laughs> and, uh, Jim has barely said anything, Orb. <laughs> it's been me. Could have been GG, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't killed any, <laughs> hasn't done any damage. <laughs> yeah, if his, K, if his KO doesn't come back, he's down to 10 men. That's it. That's the extent of the damage that Valley's done. Yeah, crazy. I mean, I, I don't know. He should just be going for the best hit he can, yeah, because there's nothing else to go for. No. Um, is he doing anything? Well, he's making a screen there, isn't he? So he 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 would he was forcing him to blitz the witch to to score with a rotter, but so he he was doing something. It was a bit safer, but that's one time where I think I may have got the Scott canoring threat out because it could have done something. Crazy how little damage the elves have taken, isn't it? Very sad. Oh, 
Very sad oh. times for Veli. He's bowed the, the sidestepper. No. With Mighty Blow. Come on. Come on, Hero Rotter play. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. It was absolutely meaningless. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpark. If you've got the scoring threat, he's got to think about the failure state more, hasn't he? And he's got to think about, you know, the counter score. Without that, he, do, he could have gone, you know, it probably wouldn't have made any difference, but it could make a difference, couldn't it? Thinking about the chance of your opponent having any chance to score, or them not having any chance to score. And a 75% fail at the end there. <laughs> just, just as a, a little extra fuck you. <laughs> Can he surf somebody? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Not without crazy dice. No. Actually, uh, one dice. You can one dice surf the frenzy one. He's got a reroll. Yeah. Actually, if he stands this sidestepper up, it's two dice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Easy surf on him. Yeah. Easy surf. Oh, there we go. There we go. Easy surf, in fact. Casually surf uh, Valley's Rackler. Mm. Uh, it means knocking them off the pitch, Glimmery. Yes, sending them off the pitch. Is there a history lesson of why it's called surfing? I don't know. <laughs> Just because... I don't know, hit them in the crowd and then crowd surf, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's just from that, isn't it? Mm. Oh, ho, ho! Gosh. right. There's actually a bug here. So what, whether or not, no, it didn't come up twice. So I think that means it's actually stuck. <laughs> yep. Oh man. When you get surfed and you've got regen, if the injury comes up and then the injury comes up again, that means you've regened. <laughs> because because cyanide. Ouch. Uh, so, yep, that's stuck for the entire game. That's uh, his Rackle Frenzy piece gone. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> oh, loss. man. This is just going to be... This is going to be gas or mall all over again. <laughs> it's just going to be... Like, there, there was a cup final that happened once. We don't talk about it. <laughs> uh, pe people have oh, no, said he it. Has, he has brought us. People have said it forever, um, Wolfhard, so that probably, they probably said that in the books because of people calling it in the, uh, people seeing it in the games. That's a, I, I didn't know, I've never read any of the Blood Bowl books, but thanks for the, thanks for that. Oh, two KOs come back huge. Yeah, that's pretty good. His claw palm is back up. Yeah, huge, huge. Yeah. He could have, he could have been on ten men, couldn't he? If they both failed, he could have been on ten men. <laughs> that would have been so sad. <laughs> that would have been absolutely brutal. Right, so, so oh, this is looking rough, isn't it? Veli's got to either stop the score, which with a wizard is next to impossible. Or force him to score early and score back. Mm. I think he'll stall means He's got a full team and a wizard. Yep. And or he can just I, turn him over and win one nil, can't he? I think. Um, I think he might change plans if, like Valley's first two blitzes, just get removals. Yes, I think he'll just be uh, reactive. Yes, very reactive. Because he can score at any time, and he's probably won because he's got the wizard in his back pocket. So I don't think he'll try and score fast, but I don't think he'll try and stall too hard to stall either. He'll just try to score whenever he can. I think. <laughs> to be fair, um, thought Valley won the last final he was in by dicing his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? I don't know, I can't remember. Was that me? <laughs> <laughs> Was that the final? 
I don't know, wait, was it a semi against you? He definitely diced you. I can't remember if it was a semi or the final. Which one was it? I can't remember. He did dice me though, yeah. I have to have a look now. I'm going to go and find out. Probably was, was the, the final. final. The semi? Yeah, well, yeah, it was the final, I think, yeah. yeah I can't remember. That's <laughs> sad, isn't it? We're like, when did this happen? I should, I should fucking know I was in it. <laughs> so I'm sure it was the final. It was your chorfs got through to the final, right? Yeah. Oh, it was good, wasn't it? And, and you were the favourite. <laughs> Because yeah. cause Valley was shitty Norse. Oh god, yeah, it's fucking Norse. Yeah, that was bollocks, though. <laughs> That's why you wiped it from your brain. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Valley casually wrecked you. Yeah, it was pretty much a dicing. Yeah. yeah, it was, to be fair. Did like zero fucking damage to his fucking armor 17. What a lot of shit. <laughs> You know what's great? Twice Opt has just given me money to ask, is Jimmy ever playing Blood Bowl again? <laughs> uh, yes, Twice I'm not. Hopped. I'm not certain Twice Hopped. I'll wait for other people to ask that question too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm coming back at the start of next season. Jim, Jimmy Burt-tastic and his Smurf account is coming back to get a peasant legend. Yeah, it could be a thing. Could be a thing. I wasn't favourite for the semi. No. I can't hey. A casual 1D on the LOS. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Bullshit. Jimmy is an on, underlord. Stream now. On Claw Mighty. <laughs> Could have just murdered himself. <laughs> Thanks, Fort Force. Why can't she oh. say streamer? Streamier, she said. The mighty blow guy can get Claw Pommed here. Yeah. Nobody's going to get there faster than Artemis, that's true. But if Artemis's effort dies, then um, then they might. <laughs> I, fa I failed at the Hobgoblin Legend this season. Yeah? They, they all died. Like, I've never had so many Hobgoblins die. Mm -hmm. If I just played Chorfs normally to qualify, I would have done better. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, he fired him, Nooms. Glorious. Thank you very much, Twice Hoft. Thanks for staying fantastic. For nine months, a human pregnancy, not a beaver in sight. Well, apart from the one that the kid's going to come out of. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic. Absolutely glorious. Thank you. No, he didn't. He fired him a couple of games ago, Andre, because he was shit. Uh, he had a good uh, beast with like block and guard and stand firm, and he died in the first round. <laughs> So he, he bought a rookie one and realized that rookie beasts are shit at this level, so he fired him again. <laughs> score quick. I just think you score, just try to score, so I feel it's not going to be easy to score because, uh, you know, Nurgle are pins in the asshole. All the stand firm and the strength and the mighty bow and everything and the lack of dodge and re rolls. So I think you just try and score any which way you can and then rely on having a wizard to uh, make it stick. You can snipe me if you want, Fault Force, but I'm going to go full scum and have just like 18 peasant dirty players. <laughs> 18? And like one blitzer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's it. The one blitzer is going to get all the SPP and everyone's going to concede to me because they're just going to get fouled 16 turns a game. <laughs> 18 peasants? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that a problem? Yeah, it's like... some would say it's cheating. Two, two peasants in a giant court. Especially if you put them on the pitch so you can make a surf that you shouldn't have been able to make. Yeah, Rick got married and went on his honeymoon, Z-Man. Oh, wow. That's why he hasn't been uh, streaming. Well, his priorities are all fucked up, aren't they? <laughs> Imagine not streaming Blood Bowl. What a, what a disgrace. <laughs> 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 and again, the uh, claw palm does a stun. Hey. Mm. Have, you, have I told you the stories of my attempts at Burt's, by the way, Jim? No. I am zero zero three with Burt's. Oh, dear. That's my entire record. 
Uh, I didn't ever want to play him. Stolen XP talked me into it, so I did it as a favor for him. And in the first game, uh, because they have a two reroll start, I double skulled with my Blitz, took it, and died. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a deleted team instantly. Uh, then I told that story on chat, and they all were like, go on, play play Burtz. And then someone like sent me money or something. <laughs> so I, play, I played the same team, played Burtz. And the opening kickoff event was a rock which killed a blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> so I conceded. <laughs> like, fuck this. Burtz and, like, fucking curse. Yeah. And the third loss was an all-peasant team that I played against Space Cadet's all-pleasant team <laughs> on his 24-hour on his drinking stream. <laughs> and, unsurprisingly, diced the shit out of me while whinging. <laughs> Classic space cadet. <laughs> <laughs> that is my glorious Bretonian record. Ooh, oh, this dodge. Oh. Was it even necessary? Ooh. I would love that. I, I love it when they cut corners and because they just assume one in 36s never happen. Yeah, I think it could have been like one square further back and, uh, you know, without any dice rolls. I think that was probably the play. It was two further back than maybe, but even then, two further back, I think, would have been safe. He's not in scoring anything. range or anything, is he, sir? No, exactly, yeah. I'm looking at you as well, Nooms. Since you only play bloody woodies. They always do it. It's like, oh, I, re I really need to be one square further onwards, so I'll just cut this corner. <laughs> what a snake! I'm diced! <laughs> no, just don't do it. Be one square further back, it's fine. Oh, I did the wrong thing. You did? Uh, <laughs> it's CCL race. I nah, know, I just literally saw twice up do it. Oh, look at that, that's not bad, is it? It's not a bad record. Yes, Jim is, Jim's record is uh, slightly better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost more games in three games than I've lost in four. <laughs> yes, I have to. Uh, I have to play like eighty games and win them all now to pass your record. <laughs> Just 80, 80 0 and O. <laughs> in incoming most amazing streak of Blood Bowl ever. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. So, so yeah, next Wednesday I'm probably going to be hardlining Burt's oh, on no. day one. I might as well. If uh, get well, a, get ahead of the curve. Yeah, Jimmy Burtastic might make an appearance. Double ass. I should do double ass. I owe double ass, and I also owe goblins. <laughs> Still haven't done either of those. I had a few games with the double ass. Not oh, now. look at this. Oh man, but. <laughs> Belly's probably like tearing at the curtains by now. <laughs> Beef curtains. It has to end with three twice hopped. I've got three losses already. <laughs> Unless I smurf it as well. <laughs> All right, so it's 72, 8, and 3. <laughs> Easy. Perfect then. So 72, 8, and 0 oh, incoming. <laughs> That's like a 120 or something in Dord Math. <laughs> Somehow break, breaks the system. <laughs> 70, 51, isn't it? 51, 6. Oh, 51, 6, oh, is what it would be. That's right. Uh, it's the seventh blockhead. There's a command, uh, uh, I keep telling people. It's a week tomorrow. But you can just do this if you're ever in a chat with uh, EAB. Oh, Claw might be just wrecking someone again. <laughs> hey. Oh, look at that. A bloody stacked holes in the Dark Elf team. The whole of the Dark Elf team will be uh, scared now. Oh, yeah, I, could, I wish you could just make infinite accounts so I could just have Jimmy Ogatastic and Jimmy Stamptastic and Jimmy Brett-tastic. <laughs> yeah. 
it's, is it three? Is there only three you can make? That's something like that. And I've already used a second one, but I can't remember what it is. I guess if I, I, use, I had to use the second one because I went home and I left myself logged in at work. Mm. And uh, Cyanide's amazing coding meant that they just couldn't wrap their head around that being a thing. <laughs> Ooh, the mm. double GFI is in. Stan Firm being pretty annoying. And strength four. This is, this is not easy, is it? This is not easy. I think he's probably just going to run away, isn't he? Probably is, but it's not going to be easy to score, is it? That's the, that's the thing. Uh, if he does run away, which he probably is, because there's not a lot he can do against that dude, um, those two stuns actually be, do become relevant. Hmm. Leap for the win. Oh! Oh, wow, he's bolting. Wow. Oh, I don't like that. This. That's okay. That's confident. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no, me either. I mean, he's going to surf. No. <laughs> okay. That, he could have surfed. That would have been a nice surf, wouldn't it? Could have run all the way around. Run around. Yeah, he's got movement nine. He could have run around. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pushed him to here. Then he could have pushed him and then surfed him. That that would have been worth it because he'd been sur surfing his fucking edge four, blood, shoe hands, tackles, pestic That would have been a good surf. Now he's got to make dodges without dodge. Yeah, I do, I do not like that wizarding. But it might pay off. If it does pay off, it wasn't because it was good. <laughs> uh, that's a bit harsh. It was ballsy, wasn't it? it there's no way he stalls this out like more than like another turn or something, I don't think. <laughs> and, he, and he had to make a dodge to do that. And there we go. Finally rolls a one. Ha mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think you should definitely wait kept the whiz there. I don't like that. But got him the breakthrough and he's got a bit of a screen so he's going to get the touchdown for sure and he stopped him scoring the first half but the threat of the wizard helped him to stop the score didn't it so now yes definitely because barely had to keep so many players around the ball yeah whereas now and and he still got lucky with his two one dices um as far as now obviously if he scores next turn or the turn after that he can throw caution to the wind to equalize. Does he do the GFI here to, to palm the witch? Nah. Mm, nah. I mean, he hasn't, got a, he hasn't really got a great target otherwise. It's not, there's no point in going in to try and like tag the blitzer or anything. He's... Yeah, he just wants men back, doesn't he? So maybe. Overtime at best for Velahop here, probably. Might just be a 1 0 win for Hatebreed in normal time. I mean, can't, it can't, it's fair enough going for the score. I mean, it, it, you know, getting that, doing that ball, succeeding in the ball, almost guarantees him the score. Which, fair enough, isn't it? What injured is the person just badly hurt? Pretty sure. Uh, it's the it's final, though, old gen, so it, it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, yeah. That's it's true. the last game these teams will play. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, one, I don't think anyone is uh, who has won the CCL has ever played in Carl. <laughs> I played in Open Ladder uh, before this game because I had time to kill. And, uh, yep, it's garbage. <laughs> Straight up 100% trash. <laughs> oh, he's got a...
No, oh, was it one what? of the one of the ones is injured? What? Doesn't follow. What? Oh, because of the jump up, maybe? I don't know. I, I'm confused. What's the point in going for the witch if you're not going to pile on the witch? It's not like Hatebreed's going to foul this turn. I think you want him standing so that, and then he'll like screen off it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like that so much. But uh, I think I would have put him one square, like, diagonally up. You know, just try and make him force him to score. So that's giving him a jump up block there, isn't it? So he can jump up block and then blitz and everything. I think he can get a turn to score. Yeah, I really don't like the basing there. Seems like that was that was very pixel huggy. What just happened? Mm. Oh, he's gonna foul. It was an assist for the foul. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. oh, and he's got the cars with it. <laughs> Oh, well, now it's brilliant play. <laughs> yes. Genius. <laughs> All hail Velahopia. Yes. Well, there goes the apple. Well, now he has to score them pretty much, doesn't he? I don't think he can stall it here. He does think he can. Well, I guess he can. Because he does have the leap, so no matter what happens, he can just 3 plus to score. <laughs> yep. They never go wrong. As, as all Wood Elf players know, that's a practically guaranteed. Yes, he got lucky with it last time. Doesn't need to be as lucky this time, to be fair. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty safe, isn't it? I really yeah. just don't like it with not having the you know not having the dodge players. That's I would have probably just scored them. <laughs> To be fair to Hatebreed, he hasn't played badly or anything in this game. He's just been lucky. That's it. Yeah, not that lucky, really. No, not crazy lucky. They're just lucky when he needed it. Got the removal on the Claw Palmer. Yeah. Got the, the the stuck Kaz on the uh, the Surf. Yeah, has only taken one Kaz, which is... Has only, yeah. Uh, or two now, <laughs> now with which. All the Claw Mighty has done nothing. Yeah. Even if he won in six to dodge, you know, he's only, he's only got two rerolls. That's the thing. If they all had dodge, I think go for the stall. And if you're double one, you're unlucky. Whereas the fact that you'd have to use a reroll is makes it a lot worse. Yeah, he couldn't pile on. I, I agree, he couldn't have piled on. But there we go. Claw, Claw might be doing its work again. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I, I I agree with him not piling on, but. And then not following, but then if you don't follow, then don't base with the other one. That's what I thought was bad. There's, there's no way he stalls another turn here. <laughs> Very like, unlikely, uh, isn't it? We said this uh, in the, the, the semi, and he, he stalled like this for like three turns or something. It was nuts. <laughs> yeah, surely he'll just score. Or, yeah, because he, like, he can't even pass it. Because, well, there's only minus one. He could go in the end zone. No, he can't go in the end zone and pass it. He <laughs> could throw it from where he is, but there'd be a minus one. You just lob it back to him. <laughs> and 
<laughs> Stall it out that way, I guess. <laughs> Heave it up the pitch. Back to the halfway line. I don't know what you mean, Nooms, he could just block away if he, if he based the ball, he, he could just block him back, so... This way, he probably just scores and doesn't get the hit. You know, he, there's no point in him basing the ball. No, he couldn't, he couldn't double base the ball, so the ball carrier would be an assist to whoever was basing the ball, so it'd just be a two-dice clear. Yeah. Or worse, it could be a two-dice clear into a surf. <laughs> yeah. Whereas now, all he, he, all he can do is score, isn't it? Which he does. Maybe he should, should have blitzed first, but... He only got two rerolls, so I guess he didn't want him, but maybe he should have hit somebody. What? Blitz with mighty blow, you fool. That should never happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was, I'm sure there was somebody somewhere that could have blitzed, two, maybe even a three dice. He had, he had quite a few elves up the other side of the pitch, didn't he? Most of his, most of his team was just off screen. Yeah, maybe he's going to go a three dice. So... Uh, after all of that claw palm damage, the uh, <laughs> the three or four elves that are left are going to have trouble here stopping stopping the Nurgle from scoring. Yeah. Wait, there's millions of them. Yeah. And it's still simple, bro. Zero damage. That can't be right. Yeah. The apple is gone though. So, you know, on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side on turn 16 if he gets one more Kaz uh, he will wryly smile as he loses yeah well he, he can't power up all can he so any any KO is is going to stick but you know it's okay four turns he probably would it's probably good anyway even a stun's probably as good as a removal here isn't it I don't like this this offset nonsense he's just going to run up the right hand side yeah, yeah. That uh, even that guy. It's not even a wrestle guy. It's literally his shittest player is the defense. Yeah, that's uh, that seems very much encouraging a a spirited offense from Velahopia. He hasn't got a kick, has he? Nope. He has ninety three wrestle. Yeah, I think Velahopia maybe should leave this side a little bit weaker. Get more stuff around that side. Maybe. Oh, right, he lost oh, a turn. Oh, 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 that's how he got another turn of storm out of it. The look a yes. dog. <laughs> Better lucky than good. There we go. Get fucked, Veli. Wow, oh, brutal. It's at least two GFIs now, isn't it? Oh, it's not a two turn, it's a three turn still. Yeah, there's still at least two GFIs for the ball carrier. Oh, for the ball carrier, right. For someone else, that's right. Oh, and uh, an instant 75% failure as well. <laughs> and and, and another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going really well. <laughs> they are Zagadin, yes. Kickoff events are straight up garbage. Oh, a brutal stun <laughs> on one of uh, Hatebreed's remaining Dark Elves. <laughs> Backyard Dodo, mighty blows there for terror tanking. You never blitz with it, but your opponent will protect his players thinking you <laughs> Psychological warfare. Like a shit wizard. <laughs> sort of hangs there. <laughs> Oh, Christopher. Um, yeah, Elves winning is fine, isn't it? Not like this, it isn't. <laughs> Don't really like the setup from Villahop here, to be honest. I think he probably should have committed more to that right hand side. And blitzed that right hand side guy. And, you know, pushed for harder down. He's not really pushing. Very hard, but he's not pushing at all this turn, is he? He might push a little bit. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. He's, I think he's just... He should have gone for it. Or he should have just picked the right-hand side. 
and just piled his entire fucking team in there. I don't think he should have piled it. I think he was right to have a bit at the side in case of a blitz or whatever. Just but... that one dude with stand firm was covering like, <laughs> the entire left hand side. It was fine. Yeah, he is playing like he has four turns. Yeah, I mean this. Cell, I still think you know they're elves, so I still would have. Uh, I still would have set up. You know, it's hard. You've got to, It's hard to score against dark elves, isn't it? Even these shit ones without dodge. That's that's exact. That's exactly what I mean. That's why I would have just risked it because it's the only way it's going to happen. Yeah. Even even if you think you've got four turns, um, how which is he, he did? Have. How is he going to do this now? With great difficulty. <laughs> If we had three more turns, this wouldn't be so bad, would it? But yeah, you, you can argue that his setup was all right with four turns. But even then, I still didn't like it, even thinking he had four turns. I think you should be more aggressive. Very aggressive. Yeah, exactly, Wolfbark. You, it's so hard against Dark Elves. It's like uh, Doc Mark when, what's he called? Uh, Careful and I were like, he's got to move up. Why isn't he moving up? Why isn't he? He's got to move up against Dark Elves. And he just wasn't moving up. And then he just randomly like went 10, 10 squares in the last turn to score or whatever. Nine squares <laughs> in the last turn to score. But, you know, you can't rely on that, can you? Like, sure, he could make a break for it for eight squares in the last turn. But even that's going to be hard to get within five, eight, within eight squares now, isn't it? Yeah, he developed a hobby. I had to use a reroll every every single turn of the, you know, 14, 15, 16, whatever it took, takes to get downfield. I have no idea how he's even going to get in range. No, it's. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. That's all I can say. <laughs> Just no. Uh, it's not going to be overtime, Gunner. Uh, hit breed is 1-0 up. If Veli doesn't score here, he just wins. So, I've no idea why Veli was so passive. <laughs> um, I guess he blitz this guy and then try to hand off to this rotter somehow. <laughs> That's looking his best chance, this fucking rotter. Jet report. <laughs> Potato with this guy. I mean, it's really hard, isn't it? I don't know what. A it's series of elaborate chain pushes. <laughs> just fully base the dark elves. Hope they snake the first dodge and then sort of one turn him yeah. by using all of the now based dark elves as pushes. Yeah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> what he, what he needs to do is he needs to take this uh, Russell Frenzy guy out of his injury box. <laughs> oh man, I'd forgotten that, mister. I would have totally told Jim that. Yes. Hit breed in the semi final, Jim. Tried to surf a friend a fend zombie. Oh dear. Like good time set him up on the two squares away oh, on on the sideline. And Hit Breed did his entire setup to allow him to surf a zombie that had fend. <laughs> It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. And didn't even try the one turn. And yeah, and didn't, didn't bother one turning at all. <laughs> Did not work, unsurprisingly, Baz. <laughs> and the, the best part of it was the massive pause when uh, he got the first push and selected push over pow <laughs> and, and then fend obviously popped up on his screen <laughs> oh fantastic there we go the witch is gone hey ding dong the witch is dead he has to dodge the killer right now yeah and then dodge with the ball carrier and oh god it's a gfi as well he's got to make 12, 11, 10. No, he's not. Never mind. He's not dodging the killer and double GFI in. Oh, God. What? So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, so that, that killer is not even in scoring range. That rotter is! Yeah, the rotter. Hey! That's what I said. This rotter is his only hope, really. Hero rotter! 
Not at all going to be instantly mighty blowed in the face. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, oh. failed it. Oh, why didn't he go battle. there? Why didn't he go out? Wait, did he already reroll? I don't know, but why didn't he go out? <laughs> why didn't he go out that way? No, he just didn't reroll it. Oh, no, it was dodge, so he failed the dodge. He failed dodge. He failed his know, dodge, but why didn't he go on a 2 plus? He's got dodge why? and he failed dodge. Why did he dodge into two tackle zones? I don't know. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Yeah, maybe auto passing, I don't know. Did he select do not use on dodge? No, he just failed. He just failed the dodge. A re -roll. We just didn't see it. He f he's got dodge and he failed the dodge. It wasn't. Wasn't it? It wasn't through tackle. Right. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was through tackle. So he's just one. into two tackle zones for no reason, and he. Yeah. One three. He, won it. he needed a four. One plus. in nine. Oh well, no. It's... <laughs> Whatever it is, seventy-five percented. Yeah, one in four. <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> don't joke about it, or you'll end up being banned. Some people can, some people can cheat and get away with it. Other people can't even joke, or they'll get banned. Or report cheaters, or they'll get banned. <laughs> I wonder why he blitzed the killer. <laughs> yeah, he's blitz. He hasn't blitzed the one guy who can score. It's a strange choice. Really? And then he's a uh, one dice skull. That's nice. <laughs> yep. So Valhobby can still win this, can't he? Well, draw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can draw he can with magic dice. Him. Yeah. <laughs> one hundred percent. He needs to power that sidestepper with the guy based on him. Then he needs to one, two, three, four, five. Double GFI blitz one of the guys on the rotter off. Then he needs to dodge out with the killer, go back in, pick up the ball, dodge back out again, throw it to the rotter who's in a tackle zone, who will catch it, dodge out, and score. Yeah, easy. P piece of piss. <laughs> 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 is Devo is Devo spinning? I haven't got a murderous team. I deleted all my team super base. Furiously sambering. <laughs> <laughs> sambering intensifying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. He's got a plan. Oh. Because he just took a push. Oh. Oh, so fill in that square, chain him. Um, okay. It's, I think he's going to try and scatter the ball. Yeah. He gets he gets goals in here, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, I don't know how that works. Oh, he's going to blitz with them. Oh, yeah, he's going to blitz him. He's going to blitz him and then get the scatter. He's going to push his own body onto the ball. Yeah. Whereas if he'd taken the power, he might have removed him, mightn't he? So, yeah. So he has to come backwards. And then he can dodge out, pick it up, and hand off into the two tackle zones. Yeah. Oh, oh, the dream, he got the it. dream is alive. He got it. <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> if he powers that blood stepper, he can. Uh... Oh, but then if he doesn't know it, I think he goes for the power. Yeah, I don't, don't think it matters much wherever he goes. Yeah, because I don't think the sidestep's going to stop him. Whereas if he if he powers him, then he can uh, hand off potentially. 
Oh, he's going to do it with him. Oh, he doesn't have to do the... oh yeah, cool. Fair enough. Have to do Just going to gonna throw a pass? Yeah. Cheeky pass. Five plus catch. Easy. Five, four, three, two, two. <laughs> pass is successful. Oh! Oh. Oh, boom. Well, there you go. Well, congratulations, Hatebreed. Yeah. Commiserations, Velahopia. Weirdest final in a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, weirdest final in at least six weeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very strange, very strange. And obviously it worked out great using that wizard. But he did get the extra turn of soul, didn't he, thanks to the riot. Um. <laughs> totally deserved championship. <laughs> Thanks, Twice Out. <laughs> Thank you also, Twice Out. Did the same on both channels. Glorious. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't watch any of it, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to criticise anything that I didn't see, but I thought he played all right. And uh, Ballsy Wizard, wasn't it? And Yeah, um, I, I didn't think that he did anything like the semi-final in this match i thought it was i thought it was fine <laughs> he just he just got all the luck wherever wherever he needed the luck yeah right well thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic